Here's the solution to test number one for ECE376. This is covering binary inputs and outputs and assembler. The first problem is build a Schmidt trigger. We want to have a binary output so pick and read it. Turn on when the temperature is greater than 30 Celsius. Turn off when it's less than zero, less than 25 Celsius. From the thermistor equation, 30 Celsius is 805 ohms. If I assume R1 is 1514 ohms, that gives 1.7 volts at 30 Celsius. At 25 Celsius, it's 1000 ohms, 1.98 volts. Then what I wind up with is this type of characteristic. It turns off at 1.98 volts. It turns on at 1.73. The, when the voltage is high, the output is low. Connect to the minus input. I turn on at 1.73 volts. That's your offset. And the gain. The output changes by 5 volts as the input changes by 0.2. It's 19 to 1. Make the resistors 19 to 1. That's problem 1. Problem 2 is find RC and RB so that the current in this case is 514 milliamps. This is a 3 watt LED. It's going to have a 3 volt drop across it. So this is 0.36 volts across the transistor when it saturates. This is 3 volts, making this 3.36 volts. The remaining voltage goes across RC um, at 514 milliamps, makes this 15.64 ohms. Uh, define RB. If this is 514 milliamps, beta is 200. This has to be at least 514 over 200, at least 2 milliamps. Uh, pick something bigger than 2, like 4 milliamps. If this is 4 milliamps, I have 5 volts here. I have 0.7 volts across the diode. 4.3 volts at, I guess it shows 4.3 milliohms. 4.3 milliamps gives you 1,000 ohms. RB could actually be anything between 172 and 1637 ohms. There's a lot of room for slot for RB. RC is fixed. RC sets the current. Problem three. Uh, find the content of the registers after each instruction. The first instruction is move 12 to W. So W becomes 12. Add port B to W. 15 plus 12 is 17. Put the result in port B. That's comma F. Subtract W from port C. 14 minus 12 is 2. Put the result in W. Take W, do a logical AND with 0F. So leave the low 4 bits alone. 2 becomes 2. Increment port B. Put the result in W. 17 goes to 18. Decrement port C. Put the result in port C. 14 goes to 13. Do nothing. Nothing happens. Uh, complement port B. So 13 binary, flip all the bets, becomes minus 18. No, 14. Uh, flip all the bits of port B, I get minus 18 or 238. Negate is the two's complement. Negate 13, I get minus 13. Put the result in port C. And minus 213, minus 13 is 243. Uh, problem four is timing. The inner loop has one, two, three instructions, plus one for go to, makes four clocks. That's executed 213 times 14 times five times. The red section of code is five instructions plus one for go to, makes six clocks, times 14 times five. The blue section of code contains six instructions, plus one for go to, seven clocks, executed five times, plus seven clocks. Add them all up, I get 60,102. For the total to be 15 million, a uh, couple ways to do it. Here's one approach. Let's max out B and C. If B is 255, C is 255, solve for A, and I get A is 57.3. Let's round up. Let's make A 58. Now let's recompute B. Um, B can't go bigger because it's an 8-bit register, but it can go smaller. That's why I rounded up. A goes up, B goes down. If A is 58, B is now 252.06. Uh, round that to 252. So if I use 58, 252, 255, 
I wind up with 14,996,429, roughly 15 million clocks within your tolerance. The last problem is assembler programming. Each block goes to a section of assembler. So port B is input, move FF to trace B, that should be FF, clear trace C, port B is input, port C is output. Increment port C, put the result in port C, goes here, um, RB0. If it's not one, keep on looping, that's a bit test. I'm going to bit test, keep it set. If it's zero, I go back to L1, so I need a label right here for it to go to. Otherwise, I skip out. Decrement port C, put the result in port C. Wait 1.5 milliseconds. I can reuse problem number four. I don't have to type it all over again. That's what subroutines are for. Once I write it, I can use it. I can call wait, and that's going to burn 1.5 seconds, 15 million clocks. Then the last part. Uh, to set up port C, I'm going to move 14, that's N for my case, 14 to W, compare, skip if less than, if port C is less than 14, I skip. When I skip, I go up here to label 2, otherwise I go to label 3. And that's test number 1 for ECE 376.